When playing our favourite video games, it's easy to forget that the beloved clusters of anthropomorphic pixels we see on screen actually have a real human voice behind them, one that spent years honing their craft in order to bring you, the player, a believable and engaging experience each time a character opens their mouth to speak. The trouble is, because these absolute champions spend their entire working lives in a recording booth, their hard work often goes unrecognised. So we here at Team Triple Jump think it's high time that our favourite voices had the spotlight shone upon them. Naturally, when we say they've been in everything, we're not being literal, you know, you bunch of pedants. But the highly talented boys and girls on this list have lent their extensive vocal abilities to more video games than most of us have had hot dinners. Again, not actually being literal there. I'm Peter from Triple Jump, and here are 10 video game voice actors who've been in everything. Number 10. Ashley Birch We're kicking off our list with a lady who may not have been in absolutely every video game there has ever been in the entire history of the world, but has had more big roles in video games than most people could ever dream of. After rising to fame through her series Hey Ash, What You Playing, which she co-created with her brother, Birch was encouraged to audition for the role as Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2, a role she's gone on to reprise three times for the pre-sequel Borderlands 3 and Tiny Tina. As Wonderlands. Not only has she lent her voice to dozens of supporting characters, but Birch has also had big roles with the likes of Mortal Kombat X's Cassie Cage and Nebula in Telltale's Guardians of the Galaxy series. She also won not one, but three Golden Joystick Awards for her performances in Horizon Zero Dawn and Life is Strange. Not content with just being an award-winning voice actress, though, she's also a highly regarded writer, having written for Life is Strange Before the Storm, The Legend of Vox Machina and Adventure Time, for which she won a Primetime Emmy Award. Is there anything she can't do? Number 9. John DiMaggio even if you're not much of a fan of video games, and if you're not, I'm not entirely sure how you ended up watching this list, but welcome, regardless, you'll probably still be familiar with the work of John DiMaggio, a man who has made quite the name for himself over the years through his voice work. Though primarily known for his work in TV and film, DiMaggio has scores of video game credits to his name, having brought to life characters like Gears of War's Marcus Phoenix and Final Fantasy's characters whose names I'm about to butcher, including Waka, Kimari, Miguelo, and Gilgamesh. I can say that one, Gilgamesh. As well as a plethora of smaller roles peppered throughout his 20-year career. Outside of the games industry, DiMaggio can be found voicing Adventure Time's Jake the Dog and everyone's favourite drunken robot, Bender. He can also be found portraying said characters in a handful of video games as well, but that's by the by. Not only is he famed for his voice acting talents, but he's also turned his hand to documentary filmmaking, writing, producing, and narrating I Know That Voice, which features a number of stars that you might just catch cropping up on this list, and is a must-see for fans of the voice acting art form, video game or otherwise. Number 8. Laura Bailey Though you might not be familiar with the name Laura Bailey, you've almost certainly come across her voice at some point, because this lady has been in everything, no joke. Not only is she a recurring cast member in the web series Critical Role, but she's also got more video game voice acting credits to her name than we dare to try and count. No, seriously, we tried to get our writer to give us a number, but she ran out of fingers and toes. Since launching her career in 1999 with the anime classic Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Z if you want to get British about this, I'm joking, that's not what we call it. Bailey has racked up quite the resume of outstanding voice performances, both in and out of video games. She's made appearances in the likes of Resident Evil Degeneration and The Powerpuff Girls, as well as dozens of other TV shows and movies. After appearing in 2002's Blood Rain as the titular Rain, the video game role started coming in for Bailey, and they did not stop coming. She's appeared in dozens of titles, such as Fallout New Vegas. Final Fantasy XII and Resident Evil 6, as antagonist slash protagonist Abby in 2020's The Last of Us Part II, and as the titular Catherine in the 2011 title of the same name. I, I don't know how she finds time for it all, to be honest. Number 7. Fred Tatashiore 
If you've ever played a game or watched a film or TV show where a character has a deep, commanding and powerful voice, odds are that the man behind it is Fred Tatashiore. Although he began his career in animation all the way back in 1999, providing additional voices for Family Guy and a handful of director video and TV movies, Tatashiore's voice is now most likely to be found in video games, having appeared in literally hundreds of different titles over the course of his 20-year career. He made his break onto the scene in 2002, providing the voices for Magneto, Sabretooth, and Juggernaut in X-Men Next Dimension. And since then, there's barely been a month that's gone by without a game release that features his talents in some capacity. He's been Poseidon, Atlas, and Ares throughout the God of War series, Bane in 2009's Batman Arkham Asylum, and more recently you'll find him in the likes of Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, Heart, and Ghost of Tsushima. And if all of that isn't quite enough gruff manly voice acting for you, the theme park aficionados out there can find Tatashure offering safety advice on Disney's Space Mountain and bringing Lex Luthor to life at Six Flags. Sadly, I wouldn't know that firsthand though, because I'm not tall enough for either of those rides. Number 6. Matthew Mercer Anyone who spends a lot of time on the internet may already recognize Matthew Mercer from his many exploits involving a certain popular tabletop game. More on that in a moment. Even if you don't recognize his face, however, you will certainly be familiar with the plethora of video game characters he's brought to life over the years. As early as 2004, Mercer was lending his vocal talents to World of Warcraft, and has gone on to voice Leon S. Kennedy in Resident Evil 6, Jack Cooper in Titanfall 2, and perhaps most notably, the smooth-talking cowboy Jesse McCree in Overwatch. He's also dabbled in film, TV, and anime, providing excellent performances for the likes of Attack on Titan, Kill la Kill, and the Spider-Man animated series. Not only does he have a long list of acting credits to his name, but Mercer also had a huge hand in creating the fantastic web series Critical Role, in which he and a whole load of other talented, successful, beautiful people, honestly they make me sick, get together and play Dungeons and Dragons, with Mercer as the game's dungeon master. If you think d and is just for nerds, you might reconsider that position once you've watched a bunch of highly enthusiastic voice actors playing it. Or maybe d and nerds just make great voice actors, I don't know. Speaking of which, number 5. Travis Willingham we swear to god this list isn't just some sort of low-key critical role sponsorship, it just happens that there is a huge crossover between a serious love of Dungeons & Dragons and doing a lot of video game voice work, seemingly. Indeed, those with a keen ear will have noticed that Travis Willingham has not only played a lot of D&D recently, but he's also appeared in more than his fair share of video games over the years. Notably, he starred in various roles throughout the Call of Duty franchise, as Thor in numerous Marvel games, including 2020's Marvel's Avengers, and between 2010 and 2018, he gave his voice to Knuckles the Echidna in various different Sonic the Hedgehog outings. As though voicing over 100 different video games in the past 20 years wasn't enough though, Willingham has also had a very successful career in anime, TV, and movies, even occasionally dipping his toe into the world of live-action performance. Outside of the recording booth, though, he can be found playing games with his writer pal Brian Wayne Foster on Travis Willingham's Yeehaw Game Ranch. Well, that and bringing the Goliath barbarian Grog Strongjaw to life with his other nauseatingly talented critical role mates. But we've talked enough about that already. God, they make you sick, don't they? Number 4. Nolan North when you ask people to name a voice actor who has been in absolutely everything, the almost universal answer will be Nolan North. And for damn good reason, the dude has been in a lot of stuff. Though he began his career in 1997, acting in American soap opera Port Charles, and has had a steady series of small live-action roles since then, most people associate North with his extensive body of voice work. Along with John DiMaggio and Fred Tatashiore, who you may recognize from earlier on in his list, North was part of the star-studded cast of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2007 foray into the world of feature films. He's also featured in Dr. Doolittle Tale to the Chief, 
Reef and the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water, but shockingly, it's not his movie appearances that have earned him such a reputation. Where North truly shines is in his video game roles, and since he began voicing games in 1999, he has starred in over 200 titles. Perhaps most notably, since the series began in 2007, North has voiced Uncharted protagonist Nathan Drake, a role that has earned the voice actor a whole load of BAFTA nominations, and even a TGA for his work on Uncharted 4. And you know what? He bloody deserves it. There, I said it. Number 3. Troy Baker these days, it's getting to the point where you can't move in the games industry without tripping over one of Troy Baker's voice performances. Since his debut in 2004's Blood Rain 2, Baker has voiced scores of video game characters, bringing to life some of gaming's most beloved protagonists and villains. Eagle-eyed players, or well, eagle-eared players can find Baker playing the likes of Resi 6's Jake Muller, Bioshock Infinite's Booker DeWitt, and Joel Miller in both parts of the Last of Us. He can also be found flexing his acting chops alongside Nolan North in Uncharted 4, and opposite Laura Bailey in Catherine, playing the game's ostensible hero. Not only does he have a ridiculous number of voice acting credits and various associated awards to his name, but Baker is also an accomplished musician, having released a handful of studio albums, both solo and as part of alternative rock group Trip Fontaine, and has even brought his musical prowess to the world of video games, providing performances for Bioshock Infinite, The Last of Us Part 2, and Batman Arkham Origins, to name but a few. Honestly, so much talent in one person should be illegal. Hang on a minute. Hello, police? Yeah, I'd like to report a crime, please. What, what do you mean, oh, not you again? Number 2. Jennifer Hale Prepare yourself now as we finish off the list with two world record-breaking entries. Yes, they're making the rest of us look bad. I'm not happy about it, but I mean, we can't not include them, can we? Stay tuned for the top spot to find out who is the most prolific video game voice actor in the world. But in the meantime, let's talk about Jennifer Hale, who holds the record for being the most prolific female video game voice actor. Her talents can be found in literally hundreds of games, from classics like Baldur's Gate and Metal Gear Solid, to recent hits such as Overwatch, The Elder Scrolls Online, and, uh, Desperate Housewives The Game. I mean, they can't all be winners, can they? Perhaps her most noteworthy role, however, is as the female Commander Shepard in the first three Mass Effect titles, performances that were beloved by both critics and players. She also earned not one, but two Spike TV Video Game Award nominations for Best Performance by a Human Female for her roles in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Not only is this a brilliant achievement, but the name of the award also implies the existence of another accolade for Best Performance by a non-human female, which is absolutely hilarious. I want to see a dog holding a trophy next year. And number one, Steve Bloom. We couldn't possibly create a list of video game voice actors who have been in everything without including a man who has literally gained more video game credits than anyone else. By the time he was awarded the Guinness World Record in 2017, Bloom had already accrued a whopping 377 voice acting credits in video games alone, and that doesn't even touch upon the scores of anime, film, and TV appearances he's had, and the games he's lent his talents to in the years since then. Suffice it to say, he's been one busy boy. Although Bloom's career began in the 80s, with him featuring in a number of live-action films under different names, it wasn't until 1995 that he broke into games, landing the role of Sid in LucasArts' Full Throttle. From there, he's lent his voice to an array of characters in high-profile titles, such as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, Diablo 3, and the Call of Duty series. Well known for his distinctively deep voice, Bloom is perhaps most famous for bringing to life the ice-wrangling Sub-Zero since his 2015 outing in Mortal Kombat X. He's also portrayed Wolverine more times than Hugh Jackman. Now, I'm not throwing any shade here or anything, but he's literally more Wolverine than Hugh Jackman is. I mean, I'm sorry, but the numbers don't lie. I think we have a winner. 